Kevin. John Bonham here, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. Good to see you. Uh, quick shave video. When I say quick, I'm going to try to adhere to that. Um, today, I've been waiting for this all day. It's just been one of those days. i be using uh, 1955 from Rex Supply Co. Excellent soap. Um, I have all three. I have 55, 66, and 77. And I think 55 for the time being is my favorite out of the three of them. Wonderful stuff. Uh, da, 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 coffee of the day. All right, Major Dickinson's blend, Pete's coffee, doing the whole bean. Very nice, grinding the beans up. I'm glad I'm back into doing that. Um, we got a new coffee grinder and all that. But you're not here for that, you're here for shaving. So, uh, da, 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 da. where is it? Ah, pre-shave oil. It's gonna be natural pre-shave oil from Subtle Art Soap. How you doing, Joe? And just talked to him yesterday, actually. Good times. Great guy. Go give them a look, by the way. I always try to plug Subtle Art Soap. They're one of my favorite artisans of all time. So I'm going to also be using the soap, the splash, and the balm. Rex Supply has some amazing stuff, man. I love this soap. And so I already have the pre-shave applied and I already have my lather ready to go. Look at that. A couple big bubbles in there. A little teeny bit too much water, but that's all right. But that's what I'm going to be messing with. Mmm, look at that. Yum. I almost want to eat it. Obviously, don't do that. So, um, scent notes of this are hyacinth, hyacinth, how the hell do you say that? Hyacinth, gardenia, vetiver, sandalwood. Pretty basic, but it's a big scent. It's really good. Um, so, I was kind of thrown off by the floral. I don't mind floral. I mean, hell, I got, oh, I don't know, four or five rose soaps. I have two lilac soaps. I don't mind florals at all. It just threw me off because I didn't expect it to be floral. But for the time period, it makes sense. Um, you know, perfumery was such a different thing back then. Oh, stuff smells so good. Wonderful soap. Uh, old world tallow right there on the label. I love the aesthetic of this label. I love every part of this. Just the branding is amazing. So this might be a tub I kill. I have too much shit. Excuse my French. So I don't kill any tubs. I killed one tub of Prorazzo green. That doesn't count. I guess it's a tub of soap. You know what I mean? Like a tub like this. So all right. So let me go ahead and get lathering, guys. Oh, hardware. Excuse me. Using my Omo Carry Stone Badger brush. I love this brush. Pretty inexpensive for what you get. And I'm using my Carve Overlander, I believe is what that is, aluminum. I won this. And it's not bad. Is it an Overlander? I think it is. I should know that. I believe it is. Aluminum Overlander. And I do want to point this out. I got this to soak my brushes in. And I also bought a grail that I'm going to be using for shaving. A beautiful purple grail looking thing. Um, there's another word for it and I can't. There's like three words for a grail and I can't. Grail is one of them. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. But I do want to plug the company that made this. This thing's awesome. I was using just a dinky little glass to soak my brushes. It worked perfectly until I went to New Hampshire and it broke. Very easily, I might add. So... I think the temperature change over time just weakened the glass because it wasn't meant for that. So I went and got an actual ceramic handmade little cup there to soak my brushes in. But that grail, I do want to show that. I just, I'm waiting for a shave. It's purple, so I want a purple theme shave. Anyway, I hope everyone's good. I had to, uh, so what I do is kind of a pain in the ass is I'll make a post on Instagram and I'll say, Hey, I plan on doing a video today. And I almost never have a video ready unless I do it the day before. What I'd like to do is post and say, Hey, the video's uploaded, which is what most people do. Just my schedule was too hectic. Like today, I almost didn't do this video. smells good. I forgot that my son had an orthodontist appointment, so I had to do that. 
had to take three of the four kids with me. And then on my way home, my buddy Vincent, I would say hi to him. Yeah, hi, Vincent. If you watch this, I'll be shocked because you don't have YouTube. <laughs> Not an account anyways. Maybe one day you'll see this. Uh, he is a car guy, and he messaged me out of the blue. We've been looking for a car for my son, who's turning 18 shortly. And he messaged me out of the blue and said he found one for like 950 bucks. 03 Chevy Cavalier. 180,000 miles on it. So I was planning on doing a video when I got home. Instead, I ended up being on the phone for about an hour and a half between Vincent, the guy selling the car, and my wife, trying to decide if we want to go for it. But I think for his birthday gift, we're getting him a car. Um, and the guy just wants to get rid of it. That's why it's so cheap. But I'm going to go. It's about an hour and a half away. I got to go, if he's willing, probably Saturday. I'm going to start it up, do all that, make sure it's good to go, see exactly where that exhaust leak is. If it's, you know, make sure it's not manifold, all that good stuff. All right, and I forgot the blades. I don't know these very well. I remember using these before. I liked them, so I'm going to give them another shot. Brand new blade, hasn't been used at all. And I picked it because it's blue. Everything was blue in the post. But the hell was that? My wife's at work. She's on her way home, actually. So I got the knuckleheads today. And my oh, my youngest is napping, so hence the video. Oh, hope everyone's having a good one. Can't believe it's already almost August. Completely unreal. How quick this summer's going by. And I'm not the parent that gets happy when my kids go back to school. Not happy, man, that's too harsh. You know, when parents are like, oh, you know, get a break from the kids, they get to go back. I've never been like that. It takes me a good week or two to get used to the fact that my kids are back in school because I get really upset. I miss them. I love being with them. So I'm feeling that angst and just having to go back to making lunches and, you know, back to the routine. So the cool thing is for the first time, I'm going to have one of my kids at home with me because he graduated and he and I are extremely close. And so he's actually looking forward to hanging out with me, which is a pretty cool thing. Because if I were his age, I would probably wouldn't want to hang out with one of my parents during the day. Not that I dislike my parents. I was just a hyper selfish little shitty teenager. So, you know, is what it is. Um, so, yeah, just got all this stuff going through my head. And then just having them at home and making lunches and, you know, busy, busy, busy. So I was looking forward to this shave. Very much today. And I just heard my 13 year old say, Abigail, come here, we have a problem. I'm going to hope he's talking about a video game they're doing or something they're playing. Because now I have to pause the video. I'll be right back. False alarm. If anyone ever watches The Office, there's a scene where Michael hits Meredith with his car and then he goes into the office and he announces to everybody that the doctors did everything they could and she's going to be fine. And everyone gets pissed off at him. And Stanley in particular is like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why'd you word it like that? Basically that. Connor's everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. I was just playing with her. I'm like, when you say, uh-oh, we have a problem, sounds like, coincidentally, this might sound weird, there's a problem. Oh, sorry. Kids. I won't complain too much. There could have actually been a problem, so I won't bitch. I'm cussing a lot more than this than I need to. Sorry. Look at that lather, guys. 
now that it sat there and bloomed a little and aged, it just thickens up. I love the base of this soap. This, this is just such a good soap. And I think I ended up getting it because of Shave Tech, because we were going to have Matt on. So I made sure to buy it, and I was just floored with how good it was. I mean, look at how much I have left. Oh. So this Saturday, I might be driving to go get my son's car. And I'm envious. He gets to experience that for the first time. You know, I remember that feeling very well, and he gets to go through it. So it's cool seeing how excited he is. I hope everything pans out for him. But we get to go to the DMV. I get to show him what a joy that is. I've made it very clear he's going to be paying for everything. The title transfer, registration. We're going to help him shop around for insurance. He's going to get his own insurance because he'll be 18. We very clearly made it clear that he's paying for all this which is what my mom did for me she she got the car for me but I had to pay for everything else I was gonna open the door and remind him I'm doing a video but they're only kids they don't mean any harm if y'all don't mind hearing them can't imagine what the camera might pick up they might be talking about. I love hearing them out of context. Like they wa I was walking by and they were talking about some game and I hear my 13 year old like, no, that's where the roots are. You have to hit it in the face. And I just stopped and was like, what? Roots and face don't mix. I think it's Terraria or some game. I don't know. I'm out of that loop. I never thought I'd be, but I am. Because I still play PlayStation from time to time. I'm a gamer. Don't have the time that I used to. But when I play, I, I notice I play like Tetris, Minecraft. Minecraft's one of my favorite things to play. Because it's so relaxing. Just the music. and I still love Legos. It's like a giant Lego set for me. That's why I never minded that game with my kids. It's a problem solving game. Anyway. So. This soap is floral, but it's not disgusting floral. And when I say disgusting floral, I mean like old lady floral. No offense to any women who are watching this. You know what I mean, though. It's not like that. That's what the vetiver and sandalwood are good for. It rounds it out and kind of gives it, if you can believe it, I swear, it gives it a bit of a kind of masculine quality for a floral soap, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I still got plenty on my brush. I don't even need to reapply. Yeah, I will, just for the video. Beautiful that lather is. And it's a towel of soap, obviously, but it's just nice. Old world tallow, so I think there's a lot of it. Speaking of old world tallow, speaking of a lot of tallow, Steve from Alien Shave, I gotta talk to him. I needed to get a, I wanted to try some of his pucks. Oh my gosh, my stomach's rumbling, of course it is. He makes mug pucks and he has a mug that I wanted to get my hands on. And he and I talk on the phone from time to time. I just talked to him a couple weeks ago, a few weeks back actually. Busy guy, real good dude though. I like him. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lather my face just for the skin food and the post-shave feel. 
And I'm gonna rinse off and do post, okay? <clears throat> Ooh! Look how close to my eye that was. That could have made for a bad experience. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that's what I got left. Good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let me pause, wash off, and do post. One sec. All right, look at that. So, maybe it's not as floral as it is soapy. I think that's a better description for it. Not just floral, but soapy. It's like a fresh soap scent, if you like that. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to clear this off. That better be the TV. Like what now? That's what I got left. So this lather just blows up. Look at that. You know what? Let's go ahead and do a screenshot. What the hell? Y'all don't mind. I'm doing pretty good with this video so far. Hmm? Boom. Is that right? Yeah. Anyway. Uh. And I, you know, sometimes I do that and I don't even use the screenshot. I'll just do it so I have the option to. All right. I'll do post and I'm going to go ahead and call this 16. Yeah, it'll be like 20 minutes by the time I'm done. I will. Not bad. This is an alcohol splash. And it is, it smells like ethanol instead of isopropyl. Might just be the, so this is floral, the splash. A lot more floral than the soap. Sweet. Not unpleasant. And then the dry down really matches the soap quite well. Mmm. You get that gardenia in there pretty good. But it's more sweet. I like it. Let's see. Nope, denatured. Oh. No kidding. I used to use denatured alcohol in the Coast Guard. When we would sand a bulkhead, we would use denatured alcohol to wipe it down before we uh, PPP'd. Prime paint. Oh. Yeah, that's good stuff. Let me throw the bomb up. Throw it up, throw it on. So the only thing I don't like is the bomb is like that. Until I figured out that you don't pour it out like splash. You do that. And then just dab, a little dab of do you. That's actually probably too much. But this is, I think this is definitely my favorite of the three. Oh my gosh, that was a good shave. Woo, what a good shave. I love this stuff, man. Maybe I'll do 66 and 77 next in a row. No, I can't. I have a review coming up. Next shave I'm doing is, is a review. It's going to be for Elysian Soaps. Um... I'll tell you all about it during the actual video, but Shannon reached out and asked if I would review it. And I had said, uh, you know, what are you planning to send? And the reason I asked that, because she, before when I did stick, she sent me the soap for free and I ended up buying the rest of the set. So I asked her this time, because I said, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm probably planning on getting the whole set anyways, all four. The soap, Splash, Balm, and um, EDP. And so I said, why don't I just, I'll, I'll review it. So why don't you just give me early access to it? And that could be my treat, you know, uh, my, not my treat, my, uh, instead of getting it, giving it to me for free, let me just get it early. Does that make sense? And in return, I'll review it. And she said, perfect, done. So when I use it, I bought it. Okay. So 
I'll, I'll say all that in the video anyways, which I always do. But, yep, 20 minutes. All right. That's a... God, that was a good shave. Dude, this blade in this razor... Like, I need to take a picture of this so I remember or write it down. I have a dry erase board down in my shave den where I'll write down stuff real quick. Oh, never mind. Make myself there. I didn't even feel that. Wow. But look at that. It's not even red. I can't believe I make myself. I didn't even feel that. Look at that. That was a... God, what a shave that was. So good. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching, especially if you're watching to the end. If you're returning, thank you. I do this for you guys. I know I'm behind on history shaves. I'm fully aware. I just have felt like doing them. It's just so much work, and I just... I've had so much going on. Um... What I need to start doing, because what I do is I'll write it, and I always do it the night before, or the day before. I don't do it and then wait a week, because I still like having what I read fresh in my head. It, it just, trust me, it helps. Because if I have only the notes, those are more cliff notes to look at, and then I'll remember something else. Is that, you know what I mean? Like, I'll write down something, but I'll know what else I read attached with the thing I wrote. So, that's what I like to do, and I just haven't had a chance, so... Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of the summer. Happy end of July and beginning of August, I guess. And take care of one another. Be safe out there. And most important of all, happy shaves. Till next time.